Hi everybody, in this video you're going to learn how to customize your own shop front. So right now I'm in my dummy shop and you can see it has the latest products created, collections, categories, products. But we can change the layout of this page to better suit our store's needs. So in order to do that we're going to go to return to store management here. We're going to click on settings advanced settings and then this section customize your store is what you want to focus on so here are the hidden sections I don't have a latest product sold section on that home page and I don't have a featured collection but I think having a featured collection collection is actually really beneficial so I'm going to add a featured collection and I'm going to add my birthday party collection and then we're going to look do I want my latest products created Maybe, maybe not. Do I want the rest of my collections on there? Do I want um, my categories to show up? It's up to you. And then for categories, they're only gonna show up if you have a um, category image. I'll show you that in one second here. So up to you what you wanna pick. You can pick a specific category if you want. Um, and then for products, you can also select a category. And if you select one, it, it gives you the option to then show all. So the next thing we're going to look at is show category titles in grid. So that, if we go back to the home here and go to uh, view public storefront, what that means is this electronic. So let's double check there. And then this is the image that I'm talking about for categories also. And then the other option to select is show categories in the products tab, which is going to be if we go to products and do these categories show up. So what did we want to double check? Oh, we wanted to double check if this was going to take that the title off there. So let's go back to home. Now we've changed the layout. We see this birthday party collection. Yeah, so it's taken off the electronics title here. So that's it. That's all you need to do to edit your storefront. It's definitely beneficial to come up with a bit of a strategy. What is your top seller in your store? You may want to have that front and center and the collection that goes along with it as a featured collection on your homepage. It's totally up to you but that's just an idea. I hope this was helpful. If you learned something, please give the video a like and be sure to subscribe for more Zazzle tips. Bye.